And please join me, Jens, we're going to spot places. Um, during the last uh, CMD, we talked about um, how we are integrating the assembly of electric trucks into our existing assembly line. Yes. Where are we today? First of all, going very much from word to execution. And, uh, but the message is still the same. Same platform, same plants. And we are leveraging on our existing knowledge on how to build high volume production with a very high degree of variance. And uh, that is really the key on how we can build electrical trucks on the same line as combustion engine vehicles. Why is this so important? Uh, for me, the main reason is scale. Scale to meet up when the S-curve is coming, segment by segment, region by region. We need to be there with our industrial footprint and meet up wherever, whenever. Here in Tuve, we're now producing fully electric heavy-duty trucks on the very same line where we have producing trucks with combustion engines for years. In fact, mixed model assembly is not new for us. The electric drive line is only adding a dimension to an already existing fishbone concept. I am standing by one of the pre-assembly stations that feeds the main line with from one side the combustion engines and the other side the MUT, the module under scab consisting of components for the electric engine. We fit the MUT at the same place in the truck as the diesel engine, at the same station on the assembly line, even using the same lifting tool. We've been producing trucks in Tuve for over 40 years. That experience and solid competence enable us to create production flexibility to meet the demands. If the customer wants it, we will build it. Now we're looking forward to volume ramp up in the autumn. We are ready. And as uh, Sandra pointed out, zero production in Tuve will start soon. Week 37. We are really excited. Uh, however, we should remember that already in 2019, we started serial production in Blainville uh, for the medium product and in 2020 for our US platform. So uh, we are building both experience and competence. So uh, to summarize, we have the competence and we have the platform, the footprint, and we are ready to meet the future.